Hello everyone, in tonight's video, prepare to pray, prepare to receive, let your heart be opened and be expectant, knowing fully that you will be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. God bless you. Remember that men are not your source, they are only channels. The real source, praise God! from whom all blessings flow the hymn writer says it comes from god it only comes through men when you exalt men above god you are in trouble welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is that light as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's light my hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. One more time. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Listen, remember that men are not your source. They are only channels. The real source. Praise God from whom all blessings flow the hymn writer says it comes from god it only comes through men when you exalt men above god you are in trouble can i tell you this truly god can give favor to men god can pick you like this and say where is he I, I'm, I'm i'm in abuja here and god can pick you and give an instruction and tell men to honor you and in one week, God can use men to change your life in a way that you'll be afraid of your own testimony. Believe this. Oh, favor. Favor provoking prayer. There is a way you can hold on to the four horns of the altar. Except you are not tired of your situation. If you keep giving flimsy excuses. You may sit down there as a preacher. As a businessman. You are not just an entrepreneur. You can go back. My father and my God. I bow my knees to our father. And begin to pray. Favor oh God. I call for favor. And whilst you are praying. God will wake someone and say the one billion that you have kept for charity to help people there is one of my sons and my daughters that requires help from there that person is the only breadwinner out of 12 people if you do not arise listen how did the salvation of the Gentiles come read your Bible Acts chapter 10 Cornelius was praying Cornelius was sowing seeds and God himself told Peter get up don't call what I've called clean unclean there is a call carry your presence straight to the house of Cornelius that was where the salvation of the Gentiles started listen to me please hear me minimize knocking on the offices of men and ask God to do the knocking for you those men will not listen to you they are too busy living out their destinies. Don't go around getting angry and saying, this person, you have what it takes to help me. When God knocks, see, there is a name he's called. He's called the father of spirits. He can wake any spirit in the middle of the night. Have you considered this family? And he says, do something for them and someone just shows up in your life and says by divine instruction i don't like you but by divine instruction he said every month for the next two years i should give you this and you are wondering it's a lie you may think these are some crooks trying to play games with you 
can i tell you this the bible says what things soever ye desire what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it how could i lead a ministry like this without the favor of god this is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today I'm, I'm not trying to insult you forgive me but it's true if god does not show you favor life is hard unbearably hard where will the finances come from even if you have money where will the access come from do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you it has to be god in one minute i like you to pray father may may favor come upon my life may favor come upon my life difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you Ratesa de Balandas Kata Brekate Parakush Kate Brendegedi Balahaskia. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen, listen, please listen. The last key, I will give it to you so that we'll pray. We're out of time. The last key to favor is found in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. I call it the Esther anointing. There is the grace for favor can be imparted. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 something is coming on someone right now hmm. Pay attention Now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, listen carefully, was come in unto the king. She required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her. Next verse. 16. The Bible says, so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the 10th month which is the month tebeth in the seventh year of his reign and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti when you read the verses before 15 the bible says there were many women and yet esther went to this strange man called Haggai. he had worked with the king a long time he knows what the king is looking for and she asked him what does the king really want and Haggai said there is an oil i will give you just keep rubbing on your body for one year that's all forget all this how to work the holy spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper he knows what he wants hear me my brothers and my sisters Truly, there is an anointing for favor. There is a grace called favor. The assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment. Access to systems and structures. Hmm. 
this is the grace that has been so difficult to come upon many believers because of dishonor because of lack of value because of disobedience to the principles of relationship because they do not ask and finally because they have not cared for such a grace some have received the grace for prayer some have received the grace for signs and wonders some have received all kinds of graces but the grace and the impartation for favor we have a few minutes we are going to spend the next three to four minutes no prayer point i'm going to leave you with the god of your salvation everyone you're going to cry and say father i can't remain the same not after this meeting those following online from any nation please pray you came to the house of god this is service to change your life think of your children while you pray think of your children's children while you pray think of the work god has given you while you pray Go ahead and pray. Pray. You're on your way to better days. Pray. Something is changing. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way to better days. Never weak again. Ah, you're on your way to better days. It's God's prophecy for your life. You're on your way to better days. Status is changing. There's no more decline. You're on your way to better days. Status is changing. No more decline. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way. On your way. On your way to better days. You're on your way. On your way. Go ahead and declare. I tap into this system of advantage. I fit all my background. I fit all my limitations. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I tap into this grace called favor. This grace called favor. This grace called favor. Favor with God. Favor with men. Favor with God, favor with men, favor with systems, favor with structures, favor with gatekeepers. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. I just feel stirred in my heart to give us one prayer point. Every spirit sponsoring any closed door because of my carelessness in complying with these principles. First, I obtain mercy, and then number two, I scatter that door. It must open for me every spirit that closes the door leading to the next level of my Christian experience. I obtain mercy, mercy for dishonor, mercy for being mediocre, mercy for not understanding relationships, mercy for not being prayerful and mercy for rejecting this impartation but then i command every devil lift your hands 
It's time for the door of my destiny to be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Listen. The law of impartation demands that number one, you must believe in God, who is the source of all things. Number two, you must believe in the vessel that he's using. Remember when there was a problem with oil, the instruction was go to them that sell and buy it now you know how you buy it buy it with honor buy it with value buy it with relationships i just gave you currencies buy it with honor buy it with value buy it with relationships buy it through prayer go to them that sell and buy our doors closing over your destiny then you need favor go to them that sell and buy is your business crashing your financial life crashing affecting your spiritual life you used to have time for god time for prayer time for worship to give to the house of god right now you who was on fire you've gone down spiritually because of looking for tea and bread go to them that sell and buy who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Your lifting and your rising. Amen. Amen. To the change of season. Amen. Amen. You don't have to kneel, but I want to pray for you. He says, Such as I have, give I unto you. Listen. I don't stand by any human sense of bragging to claim there is nothing we have that has not been given by God but I will be lying and God will judge me if I tell you by the privilege of God's grace we have not obtained this grace also it's been difficult for believers listen every time God sends a grace and a word to Jacob it is because of Israel there are things you cannot do in your life until this mantle is upon you there are door you can't do end time ministry without the favor of god you will compromise beyond your imagination the key to integrity is not only character it is favor access to the hearts of men many of you will marvel at the things that happen to you i'm telling you that a door that for 10 years have refused to open you carry this esther anointing if Esther as a village girl with one encounter with this oil oh it changed my life I'm indebted to God forever some of you are crying think of your children right now you're about to receive an impartation think of mama at home Ten years from now add 10 years to your age 20 years from now add 20 years to your age no achievement no nothing 
I don't want you to feel bad, but it's time to get serious. There is a system of advantage you have not tapped into. Few minutes and we're done. Those following online, following from whatever nation, God is giving you another opportunity again. Azaria family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it works. Brothers and sisters, I know. I know. There is disgrace. Mama, you may be old in age, but disgrace still works. Apostle, I didn't have the opportunity to go to school. Find comfort. Favor works. Apostle, I'm tired. People keep disappointing me politically in business. Find comfort. I come from a village. It's difficult to even see the map. Find comfort. Favor is not a license for laziness. That's why I told you it's not just unmerited access. It is divine help. God and men in partnership holding your hands to lift you. Please pray one more minute. You're about to receive this impartation. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah. Yeah. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Yeah. now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and i stretch my hands first over you here in abuja our family in zaria those following from around the globe from america to europe to asia the caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of jesus the one who has shown us mercy i decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor i papatos katabarakat koskiata I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door that needs favor for, to be opened, I declare may favor open that door now. Hear me? Every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment, I call on my God who is also your God. Let there be a supernatural reconnection now. Every door that dishonor 
has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the god of david we reopen that door now and in the name of jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of jesus by the in the name of jesus christ i give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships i declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are i stand by the prophetic i call them into your life now hear me i stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing i declare in the name of jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of christ find the grace for favor <laughs> by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the lord let god's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now even pharaoh who hated israel with passion was the one who ended up giving them gold and everything they used to build the tabernacle in the wilderness can i tell you this when favor comes upon you it's not only friends that bless you anybody directed by god i pray for you whoever must bring forth their credibility their time their resources their endorsement to shift you to the next level i call them forth by prophecy now now i'm praying for the body of christ but now let me pray for the koinonia global family you belong to a family that is mysteriously favored of god i pray for you in the name of jesus out of the abundance by reason of this prophetic connection step into superior realms of favor By this favor, may your life be a fearful wonder first to you and then to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. Walk conscious. This, I, I want to encourage everyone. Please, please, just listen to the following instructions. Number one, please ensure at least three or four people listen to this message let it be your gift forget about buying recharge card or whatever look for at least three people maybe your family members maybe your husband maybe a director some you've been giving people money thank god for that you can go to i think it should be on our youtube page go there after this service personally i'm going to listen to this message this night again this is not the message to say i have heard go and settle down like a student in the school of the spirit listen to those points and pray remember every day 
you are doing it at your discretion it's not like we're doing it as a ministry pray every night lord open doors of favor and you watch what the power of god will do it those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out when i begin to minister for those who would come out i will ask you but please lay your hands i want to pray right now my god there's such all i'm just seeing is i'm just seeing smoke just inside and outside that smoke of his presence in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names i command that spirit to live now in jesus name right now i decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of jesus organ failures be restored in the name of jesus the power of god is touching so many people in the name of jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pool muzzle pool like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of jesus the power of god is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as i'm praying right now you are feeling a, a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the holy spirit as i pray right now it dissolves and goes down now yeah. HIV be healed now yeah. I say it again HIV be healed now yeah. every kind of cancer be healed now yeah. terminal illnesses be healed now yeah. those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid I declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of God is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus perfect vision for you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you are having like um I'm hearing gastritis in the name of Jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the Sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the Lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Pile, be healed now. 
I, I don't know my God. There's someone I'm, I'm seeing is like, of course, I'm not a doctor, but I'm, it's like I'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil, not a boil, but a growth, a projection inside your head, literally. In the name of Jesus, I don't know whether that has been verified medically or not, but be healed right now. There's someone, you have a condition. I don't know what that condition is, but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself. I don't know who that person is. In the name of Jesus, be healed. The issue of blood is being healed right now. Very severe issue of blood is being healed right now. There is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in jesus name be healed There is someone here, you have a medical condition that cannot allow you to have a child. You have a medical condition, you are a man, you are unable to get your wife pregnant. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to feel like fire, just like a sensation come through your body. And in the name of Jesus, the Lord is bringing you healing right now. The Lord is bringing you healing right now. The Lord is bringing you healing right now. There's someone you could not move your left hand. I'm, I'm even feeling like, like weight on my left hand. The power of God is touching you right now. Begin to check it right now in the name of Jesus. A very supernatural miracle has happened. You came here and your, one of your molars, I don't know, I think it was removed. But a miracle is going to happen. You are going to see a brand new teeth right there. This is what the Lord is telling me. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the spirit of grace. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Someone has um, like a growth, a projection, just this part of your neck, this side. In the name of Jesus, as I'm praying for you right now, the power of God is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, diabetes, diabetes is being healed right now. Sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you i don't know if you can walk or not but the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name 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 There is someone I am seeing, you are not in this country. Uh, it's not given to me to know what nation, but I know you are outside this country. You are holding your child. Your child is five years, getting to six, and has never spoken. And the Lord is telling me to pray for that child. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what that nation is, but I declare, may the tongue of that child be loose now. May the tongue of that child be loose now. The Lord is showing me a woman. This is an elderly woman, should not be less than 55 years old. This is a woman in the hospital, in coma completely. In fact, it's almost as if she's gone. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life. And we declare that woman returns right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone for a long time, please don't be embarrassed. You've suffered what we call mouth odor, very pungent smell. It's not an issue of lack of hygiene. You have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that. Right now, as I'm praying for you, the power of God is touching you and that, that healing is happening right now. In fact, I'm seeing at least three or four people with this case I just mentioned. No matter how you try to maintain your hygiene, it looks like that embarrassment continues. It's a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, be delivered. 
the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing <laughs> hallelujah now here's what we'll do i want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting god for healing i want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of god has touched you you could not do something i want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to work you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening i'd like you to please submit your prayer request you would see ushers by your left and right you may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person either by your left or right so that they would pass it ushers please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request and if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you i want to minister deliverance now i believe in deliverance i really do upon mount zion the bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of god's people spying upon their liberty but the bible says how terrible art thou in your way psalm 66 and verse 3 it says through the greatness of thy power thy enemies shall submit themselves to you and so i want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives are you ready now when i pray then uh, together with those who will be coming out all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies will now allow them to come let me pray ah you know sometimes the way the holy spirit works is very strange i've not even started praying and i started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit this is what i started hearing bring them out that's not the only one you hear many like the healing power of jesus just delivering people that's what i started hearing in my spirit and the lord just asked me to allow that happen before i start speaking the supernatural works in a very strange way sometimes it, 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 these things how and why they happen i really do not know ours is just to flow with the holy spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing i want you to bring them out and then i will now start praying the power of god is already touching people thank you lord jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly if the ushers are limited please pr or any other department do help them so that we will we'll make this fast and we make this snappy in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh
hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits this is what god wants to take spirits that torment people whether in dreams or visions whether as afflictions or infirmities i want to declare right now please i want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. From the influence of tormenting spirits. Be free now. The power of God is still coming upon people. Right now, the power of God, help them please. The power of God is still coming upon people. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two Three, shout Jesus. Be released. Be released. Please bring them out. I decree and declare. I prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit. Help them, please. Every devil of stagnation, every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward go ahead open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i am making advancement in life and destiny every devil in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm still praying. You hear about good things, but your hand never handles it. You keep hearing that good things are to happen, and yet you are never able to take possession. I want to pray right now. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of this, that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of god is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a paris qatar for those patterns i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now There is a lady you are from Edo State. There is a spirit that has tormented your entire family. I will not let you go free. Right now, help her. The power of God is coming upon you from Edo State. I'm seeing the anointing even coming on people, not just one person, many people. Edo State. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Be delivered now. Be delivered now the lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes 
you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies parikatos ketebata bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family i release that family right now 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 please whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing please help to bring them you don't have to wait for the ushers there might be too much for them to do i'm hearing the name jennifer the season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus! i cast that spirit now be delivered completely in the name of jesus for every other person in the name of jesus this lady holding her stomach something is leaving your stomach i cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ release her destiny now in the name of jesus christ my goodness god is setting people free i am seeing god take things out of people's stomachs like i don't know like growth or whatever i declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth right now fire from heaven is coming upon you that devil dissolves now that devil dissolves now I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend sir. Huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you take that grace right now in the name of jesus the lord will use you to set your family free in the name of jesus christ hear me there is someone i want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. Not death. Death, borrowing. There, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs. It's not that you are bad. This thing is a pattern. You have seen it. God wants to break it in families. I don't know where that family is, but right now. The spirit that has tied people financially walking and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of god is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily i don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of jesus christ 
God is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out as though from nowhere it's a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of God is coming upon them the Lord is saying it has come to an end I don't know what it is but that's what I hear it has come to an end it has come to an end I decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of God is touching you it has come to an end in the name of Jesus Please don't just pick them and take them back. Ushers, you should know better. Please, let me do my prayer for them. There's a reason why I ask them to come. Please return that lady who is going back, please. It's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful. No. Please, don't just pick them when they think. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. They don't have to come out. But when God instructs, then it's important. Otherwise, you will just take them back to their various bondages. For all those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now, for all of you, I declare at the count of three, let them go, release their destinies. One, two, three, go, go, go. Out of them now. Out of them now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen, let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus The Lord is still showing me a family. Your father is a pastor, but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family. A sincere man of God who loves God, but poverty, failure, shame. This is what has characterized his family. I don't know who that person is. You are a lady in the name of Jesus. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you verify. Let's not just have people coming out carelessly. Your father is a pastor. I want to pray. The devil is a liar. Just put them. They can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is, who is spending his life serving the Lord. And then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see. So it can discourage members. It can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire Take that fire. I decree and declare those altars are set ablaze. I release your parents. I release your loved ones. I release your parents. I release your families. Help them, please. Every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now. I not only pray for them, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is destroyed now.
you don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, 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 a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now agree with me we declare mercy right now in the name of jesus who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, I overturn them. I overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours whether in the office whether in politics i say it again i overturn tonight i overturn tonight i overturn tonight in the name of jesus christ I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the lord is showing me right now i'm seeing a lot of financial distress it's still undertone they are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it but in the name of jesus i am praying for the sake of the mercy of god and for the sake of those who fear god in that bank both workers and customers may god preserve it in jesus name <laughs> jessica Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I lost it. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband he's outside he lost his job yes when yes. 2017. and from that time he's not gotten a job again the one he got he has been managing it is nothing to write home about from the when he is he here yes because of there's no space it's of course i understand outside. it doesn't matter he doesn't have to come husband wherever you are you are seeing your wife on camera just stand by faith if we say he should come now we may waste time do you believe god can visit him yes madam what do you do i'm a businesswoman i want to pray for you i believe in miracles so i truly believe hallelujah jessica your name is not jessica oh. brother's wife. Huh? your brother's wife you're standing in okay Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry, I'll pray for you since you are here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every planting of darkness. I use this once in front as a point of contact. Ah, I'm praying for these people. But I'm seeing a lady here. 
there is a, a ring that is demonic this is not physical on your hand but this is demonic this thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors the power of god is coming upon you right now help them help them this is what i'm seeing i just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic kaparakatos kadiata every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep molesting you and spying upon your liberty right now i stretch my hands anyone here who is a victim of those things be delivered now and for all of the jessicas who god called out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now i hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life i release you now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of august the way god will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it i declare it in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is the is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not we don't see any expression of that in the bible are we together the destruction of satan 
nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the fct we are praying for nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to africa but particularly for nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for abuja the fct then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of jesus the son of the living god we agree as a spiritual family oh god arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police dss civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment nasarawa state niger state kaduna state plateau state benway state kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing destructions of lives and properties they come on that judgment in the name of jesus christ they come on that judgment somebody is praying the facilities within the fct we declare safety public private facilities in the name of jesus for in jesus name we pray please listen to me i don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed but let me just give you a word of hope and comfort please hear me do not fear prophesy to yourself say myself in the name of jesus i reject fear one more time say it say i reject fear hold on let me tell you by the privilege of where i come from and where we started ministry i've had the i don't know what to call it now i have i have been part of many crises and i've seen many uprisings there is one thing i can tell you fear has never helped in any situation i know that because of what is happening across the fct there is fear i know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can i tell you i challenge every father and every priest here you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith we are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil rather we would pray that god himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down 
it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of these vested interests and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of jesus you will not die Amen. the lord god himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. now i want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the requests come wherever you are begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in the spirit please you are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside are you praying all of the overflows begin to pray begin to pray in the spirit if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly go ahead and pray Please, prophetically, may I request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as I bow my knees before the Father of glory, agreeing for answers to these prayers, answers to this request. I'd like you to declare that these Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more forever. Someone pray. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies. Every long standing issue represented here, may this be the season for speedy answers. every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of Jesus he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev I decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of Jesus now i made a commitment a personal commitment to see that we end tonight by nine because of the situation and so because of that we may have to suspend every other thing i'll just speak over your life for the next one or two minutes it's already two past nine my apologies for all those who would have wanted to come for testimonies what i will request that you do is next week um you can just write your testimonies and we'll take it let me speak over your life finally and then we're done hallelujah in the name of jesus christ 
this is the last day of this month tomorrow becomes august i decree and declare august is the ninth month everything you have been carrying this is the month to give birth to it shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of jesus christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the holy spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised christ from the dead i stand as a prophetic midwife and i push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of jesus christ let's pray in the spirit everyone pray from the depth of your heart in the spirit Lift your voice and pray. Bless him in the spirit. Mighty God. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, are you praying? Shema na 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 mas, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you're the king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god praise the bread of life emmanuel god with us the one who saves 
We praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. The Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. I know the Lion. I know the lamb, I know the lion, Shalabakala Dusiana, and I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb, I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb, I honor the Bless him in the spirit. Shema la kata brande ge barusa zige de belega tuzia. Kate brande ge la hashala baka brande ge barusia ta. Make melodies in your heart. Shala bras kete malaka tuzia ta. The Bible says, "Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit." Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns spiritual songs making melody in your heart unto the lord ala baratas kada branda gede baratu sati gede balaka tusia rata ka paraga de balaka ta branda gede balaku siata kada berentos kali barahas kade balatosia the one true god and jesus Go ahead and pray. Don't be distracted. It's part of the meeting. Pray an anointing service for divine preservation I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea that's going to be someone's prophetic word after tonight Ah, that the Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more. Indeed, we will sing the songs of Miriam. We will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. Shabra dega de bakatosia da. He brandi ge barakosh kate brakete la kaparaga di bada. Shaba ba 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 ke da barotas kate baletu. Imbrakatos kate balaka tapra dega de bakate proshia. Shate kate bada kata. Shate bakata. Heratos kate balaka tapra deska di balai. 
Imbrakati Baraku Shodo Brodogodo Balakata Maria. One more minute, you are still praying. You are stretching your spirit man to expand, building capacity. In the name of Jesus. Been in Zaria for a very long time. Many of you who are in the north, there are donkeys that carry load. Many times, you know, because because of the northern context, most of their transportation is largely maybe farm things. They carry through those oxen and the rest. And sometimes you can see those donkeys, they can put grains, put whatever, just touch it on them. And something that can run so fast, faster than a human being, is now limited because it's carrying something maybe even twice the size of it. That means the pace you are going in life is not the true expression not the true expression of god's desire but that there is something hanging on your neck hanging on your family help that gentleman please now listen i want to share with you a scripture something happened to me um that was i think it was day before yesterday I woke up with this scripture i'd never I, well maybe i'm sure that i may have read it but i've never really i just saw it like that from the dream and i knew god wanted me that is the key scripture that is for this this impartation tonight second samuel 1 21. Hmm. ye mountains of gilboa let there be no dew neither let there be rain follow closely upon you nor fields of offering he said for there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away the shield of saul as though he had not been anointed with oil do you know what this means that means that the shield he was trying to explain something and he said look at that was the same place where the shield the system of protection of Saul fell as if he was not anointed. That means if you are anointed, some things should not happen. Are you getting me now? He says, the shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil. How can the shield of a man that was so anointed fall by the wayside just like that as if there is no divine backing on him? I woke up with this scripture. That means there are some things we need to cancel this night please pay attention i sense a strong anointing here because there is is, is by instruction god said we should put this special anointing service why should that family just go down as though they were not anointed was saul not anointed but when the anointing left saul look how he died that's what he's saying there 
that the anointing is a preserver there is a diplomatic immunity that comes with being anointed when they are rejecting everyone they reject you too like the rest as though oil did not come on you I remember some years ago I was praying for someone and um, they said everyone who prays for the person you know something tragic seems to happen to the person and the person can even die people had died at least two or three people before that time and you know they were cautioning me, me to be careful you know they just said please apostle we love you just be careful so that this thing does not backfire and with 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 every sense of love i turned and i looked at the person who was talking with compassion and i said that's the thing you see you people what you are looking at is this frame you really believe it's like saying a president just dies all you see is not all there is a governor just dies a general in the army just dies just because you saw him walking alone and playing golf you believe that all he's holding is just the golf stick and the golf and his playing you may not understand the systems of immunity that surround him listen to me beloved when you come into christ activate these other forces and then you back it up with this anointing you can find rest that i i it, it is when the devil is looking for blood for the ember months for december it is minus me because there is an anointing upon my life listen now i know this is this is an emotional point because things have happened around you but let god be true make up your mind by the spirit of god that all those spirits that appear to you they won't allow you go to bed for God's sake, you go, God gave sleep for rest. But there are as soon as you put your head up, there they come again. Coming as all kinds of things. Taking you back to secondary school. Taking you back to primary school. What business do you have going back there? Help that lady, please. I like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes we are going to step into a season of prayer first first and hear me many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if i die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if i die what if i'm kidnapped what if something happens there has to be a system of safety hallelujah listen listen to me this man talking to you is not stupid though i have received all kinds of prophetic words for many years be careful with your life be careful with this we saw them kidnapping you we saw them doing this we saw this one planning to kill you the person talking is not stupid believe me if you don't engage this thing you will live in fear because the reality that surrounds you will be so real let god be true
listen in the next five to ten minutes please give some of my people the mic i need these guys to pray with me worship team give your mic let's have a few people go and 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 pray we are going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next 10 minutes are we together maybe let's have three or four mics there's still more people and we're going to pray as you are praying in the spirit you are opening up yourself tired of this limitation tired of living in fear tired of living by any whatever it is by the power of the word of God. Now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Psalm 79 and verse 11 I want us to confront the spirit of death Psalm 79 and verse 11 please media are you helping us he said let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those up pointed to die listen we're still praying preservation you are going to pray for you your children and all who are connected to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill and any embargo of death hanging on you he must give way right now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Oh, death, where 
is your sting? Oh, pray. Where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we cross you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray. Pray over your children. Pray over your family. Pray over your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, preserve from death, preserve from the sword, preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you. Mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan, you have no hand over their life whether in death whether in tragedy they are preserved lift your voice and pray mention them by name he said as for me and my house call your mother call your father call your siblings call your spouse call your children by name declare over their life prophesy preservation In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, by reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 Shabakata Bradakatos, Catapotopas, Catapotos, every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon Koinonia for tragedy, for evil. By the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I'm 
lo que son y es que se jodió in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please don't be tired two more prayer points don't be tired at all the Bible says the spirit is willing even though the flesh is weak don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment now you're going to pray that every pattern whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you every pattern pattern of failure pattern of trouble pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me my children my family i cancel it by the blood lift your voice and pray Wanting to repeat itself in my life, I bless you by the blood. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you, plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come, this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people. If many people are to be open, they will tell you. A job is supposed to open up for you. You get to bed in the night, here comes that experience again. Someone comes to sleep with you, molest you, or some kind of dehumanizing experience. And you wake up with a plethora of tragedies. During our discussion on deliverance next year, I will teach you some of these mysteries. There are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers. I understand. But believe me, within the balance of scripture, I can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. I shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance I was already in ministry and yet these spirits will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic I would see them I would shout Jesus in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus as a man of God don't think I'm talking nonsense here I understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kind and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying <laughs> listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus in the name of 
Every spirit that is not of the Christ in and around my life, I decree and declare by the mystery of the blood, let there be an eternal separation. Live my life, my destiny forever. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. An eternal separation. Every stranger latching onto your body. Every spirit coming to you using the faces of men. The faces of animals, creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood. Eternal separation. Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you